Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and from all of us who are all on this journey to reunite with our vibrational matches in this lifetime. And so this is for those who are in a twin flame soul to soul journey. And um, so I'm going to pick a energy for today for those who are on this journey with me. And so if you resonate with my messages, then um, this is for the collective energy that we are working with. And also then I'm going to pick some guidance from the Sacred Geometry, Work Your Light, Nature Spirit, Spirit Animal, What Crystal to Use, and then the Universe Has Your Back. So guidance for today, what we need to know. So firstly, the energy. What's the energy that we are working with today? And it is the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> so do you notice how the same, like, <laughs> similar cards keep coming through it's either the seven of pentacles or the queen of wands or the lovers or the king of swords uh these are these energies are cycling through so the seven of pentacles if you look here the rose is growing out of the barren land and so and he's looking at it lovingly because the seven of pentacles is saying keep going you know you're working hard you know, believing in the impossible, trusting that um, dreams do come true, trusting what with what you work hard at, you will reap the benefits, right? The benefits are starting to grow. Um, but just like with the flower, the flower will come up through barren land. So I am carefully bringing things to life. The suit of pentacles is traditionally associated with manifestation and material wealth, while a broader interpretation of wealth is one in which it's kept in the tr three treasure chests, the mind, body and spirit. The seven of pentacles is all about nurturing a vision. A beautiful rose grows from red hot molten lava up through a hole in the scorched earth skin, complete with its own ecosystem in miniature. It grows because it has been tended and lovingly willed into existence, regardless of the obvious impossibility. Now the rose is the flower of divinity. And again, the rose is also a symbol of divine love. And so against the, you know, where you think it's impossible, that's where beauty grows, right? So the seven of pentacles indicates your vision of life must be nurtured. The situations and circumstances may not be ideal, with few skills and resources, yet with consistent, tender, loving care and pruning, they will go stronger and see daylight. The delicate shoots of ideas and possibilities will flower. Draw your fellow visionary gardeners to you, distancing yourself from people or situations which stunt your growth. Invest in learning new skills and knowledge and each one of us deserves to grow rich meaning and purpose out of the soil of life. So the seven of pentacles is the patience and kindness required to grow and sustain a life of value and beauty. So keep going, this is saying, you know, you have the impossible can be made possible. You have to keep nurturing it and nurturing the rose that's blooming inside both you and your twin. So gorgeous, but it's hard work. You know, <laughs> the seven of pentacles is, you know, it's hard work. It's about never giving up. It's about trusting. It's about realizing that you are part of a collective that are working through collective energies. And we're all taking that piece of the pie and working through those energies. And that's not easy, you know? There's a lot of fear, there's a lot of doubt, there's a lot of dark energies, denser energies around that we're all taking our piece of and working through. So what's the guidance to help us with that? So sacred geometry, what sacred geometry guidance do we need today? And it is the root chakra. <laughs> Grounding these spiritual connections into the physical. You know, understand, look at that as well, the red rose and the red root chakra. Realizing that the root chakra is that the universe needs us. You know, we are part of the universe, not separate from it. We are part of our twin, not separate from them. And so we are doing this journey together, no matter what it seems like in the 3D. So the flower of life is a geometric shape recognized by many cultures all over the world. It consists of 13 equal circles that intersect at the middle of each circle creating a perfectly proportioned flower. 
As a symbol, the flower of life represents the universe as a whole, as well as the harmony in which all the separate components of the universe work together. This beautiful pattern is often used to indicate our understanding of our connection as humans and as spiritual beings to the whole. The colour red is associated with the root or base chakra. It is linked to our survival instincts and to our ability to ground and identify others in the physical world. It is connected to our sense of prosperity and security and to our physical health. The location of the root chakra at the base of the spine is also the seat of the Kundalini force and the first chakra is believed to be the generator of life. Red stimulates passion and love, excitement, courage, strength, power and persistence. <laughs> I love that and it senses smell. So you have to be persistent on this journey. So the message is to take a moment to mentally scan your body. How does it feel? Is there anything it wants to tell you? How grounded do you feel? How deep do your roots grow? Do you feel connected to other Mother Earth? How about the cosmos? Contemplate your connection to the physical plane. And when is the last time you walked barefoot outside? So the message is to feel connected because when you feel connected to the universe, you know that anything is possible and you're here to support the universe in growing and vibrating higher and you are part of that and you're part of a vibrational mission. So the next one with that, I'm going to do work your light. See what work your light uh, we need to know about today. Look at that. Get grounded. I mean, you can't make it up, can you? <laughs> OK, so there's clearly some like some of us are flying off into the into the um, spiritual realms and not really coming down to earth. And that's, you know, very, that can happen, right? Because you get so carried away with the spiritual connection that we forget that we've actually got to ground this into the physical. So you are being called to get grounded to ensure that your luminous field is clear and your inner well is full. If you're not grounded, it is all too easy to get swept up in other people's energy and mistake, and mistake it for your own. Your boundaries will become blurred as you're absorbing the energies around you and struggling to define what is their stuff and what is yours. If you pull this card, you are very likely an empath or a highly sensitive person and need time alone to fill your well, balance your energy and get grounded. There are two types of people, those who draw their energy from others and those who draw their energy from within. Reflect on which one you are and carve out time each day to ensure your well is being replenished. Being sensitive is a superpower, but like all powers, it needs to be nurtured in order to be fulfilled. There are many ways to get grounded. One of those powerful ones is to practice earthing by connecting to the power of Mother Earth. Spend time in nature, put your hands on a tree, or walk barefoot on the earth. <laughs> Do something to get grounded and connect with the earth. Okay, well, two, one after the other, saying go out in nature, go and get, put bare feet on the earth. Crazy, amazing. So getting grounding is definitely the order of the day. So the next one is native spirit. What guidance do we need from native spirit? And it is spirit keeper of the east. So the first thing that I notice is, is that the beautiful sun is coming up from beyond the horizon. And so um, it's allowing the sun to, allowing the universe to support you, right? So a fresh cycle is occurring in your life. Wipe the slate clean. It's now time to release the old and start again. No matter what has happened in the past, it doesn't need to repeat in the future. In native traditions, the directions are honored. It's believed that every direction has an associated spirit that can be called upon. In the great cycle of life, the east is the place of the rising sun. It's also associated with planting seeds in the springtime, birth, the waxing moon and new beginnings. Pulling this card means that this is the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations or relationships when they no longer empower you. Your native spirit asks that you not cling to the old, but set sail into new waters. Face your fear and allow yourself to stretch in a new direction. Wonderful opportunities will be born in your life. And the journey of the card is to stand and be still. Breathe and return to yourself and then slowly turn in a circle. 
Close your eyes and feel the energy of each direction. There's a difference in the feeling in each of the directions. Stand facing east as the sun rises to sense the unique energy of that direction. So, end of one cycle, start of another. What spirit animal is with us today? And it is the pig. <laughs> Oh, I love the pig. Use your mind wisely. And it's also number 47, which is 11. So make sure your heart and mind are aligned, you know. Um, make sure that your mind isn't going crazy, making you think all sorts of crazy things. So pig spirit appears to remind you of the right use of intelligence, a gift we all have that is meant to be used with love, compassion and discernment. Intelligence means recognising the value of intuition, partnered with smarts and common sense, which leads to intelligent solutions. When pig spirit appears, you are called to respect your analytical mind and use it for the highest good, recognising that all facts must be considered even when they do not fit what you already know. Spirit blesses us with wisdom when we allow pig spirit to nudge us into open-mindedness, thoughtful dialogues, whether with others or internally, as we mull over our ideas and what we have come to understand. You are intelligent and capable of clear-minded thinking, shaped by the wisdom you've accumulated and the intuition that will tell you when you have more learning to do because not all the facts are in. Now is the time that your decision-making powers are reliable, for you are in alignment with Pig Spirit's keen intelligence. Okay. And look at that. So it's also on page 143. 143 is, I love you. So the protection message is, are you ruminating, running thoughts around and around in your head, but not getting nearer to a decision or solution? Pig spirit is here to protect you from analysis paralysis. Let your mind rest now and allow your intelligence to mingle with the mysteries of intuitive guidance, releasing your tight hold on facts and unsolved puzzles whether it be a relationship or any other aspect of your life. Brilliant. So the pig is saying, stop analysing everything. Just allow your intuition to, to, um, to tell you what's going on. So um, the crystal, hem, hemimorphite today, which is number hemimorphite 31. The throat chakra, being able to speak, our experience of life is reflected by the limits of our imagination. Um, this crystal simulates a desire to explore the inner realms of our being and soar with our consciousness, to look at our situations from a higher perspective. We are taken on a journey to view life through the eyes of our soul and to keep things in perspective. The, this crystal finds its way to people at a time in their life when a great awakening will take place. The crystal is a guide, a physical manifestation of higher consciousness. It appears in a person's life to say, wake up from your dream. The time you have been waiting for is here. With this support, we know that the time is right to move forward. Wow, the awakening, the crystal that will help you connect with your higher self. So amazing. Um, so there's lots of being grounded today. The guidance says a lot of being grounded a lot of um, make sure your head and heart are aligned. If you find yourself going crazy off in tangents, then just bring yourself back. Go and stand outside um, with bare feet on the ground and get grounded. <laughs> and the guidance from the universe is, I am the dreamer of my dream. And how do you, and you know, again, all of this is about saying take steady action to realize your dreams. You know, that's the power of manifestation is to follow the intuition, to follow the nudge. Um, because all dreams take work, all dreams, all manifestation take work. They take following that inspirational nudge that comes. Because the energy for today is carry on going. You know, the seven of pentacles, roses are blooming. So trust. Trust, trust, trust. Align head and heart and trust that you're on the right path. All right. I hope that helps. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.